Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I'm feeling a whole lot better. I've been resting for the last few days and uh, yeah, I still have a little bit of pain, but I'm fine. Everything is good. And I am feeling so guilty because I am so far behind on my Dollar Tree hauls. So I felt like I needed to jump on tonight and uh, do a haul for you all. This haul is um, from the South Glens Falls store when I went to uh, see my friend Sally. Um, so I wanted to do this separate. Sometimes I combine stores that I go to, but I wanted to do this separate because I, I um, wanted to show Sally what I got from her store. So um, let me jump into this. Okay, first thing I found was this 4x6 frame. And if I can get the reflection off there, look at the iridescent frame. I just thought it was so stunning. I love it. It's beautiful. It's so cute. It's 4x6 and it's got um, like a border on here. So 4x6. I imagine you could, if you took the border out, you could put a bigger picture in here, probably five by seven. But with the border, it's a four by six frame and it has the little kickstand on the back, but it also has a little hangy thing if you wanted to hang it. And the little unicorn picture in the background doesn't hurt either. So how cute is that? So I grabbed that. Um, this I have been looking far and wide for. Um, I can't even tell you. I saw somebody haul it a long time ago. I'm going to take it out of the package so you guys can revel in its glory. <laughs> um, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't believe I found it at the store in South Glens Falls. Look at this canvas. Isn't it the cutest donkey you have ever seen? Look at the flowers in the hair. I actually found this at another store and I already hung this up in my office because it's a donkey. And I got this one to hang up in my home. I absolutely love it. And if you can see, there's a little bit of gold like glitter to that flowers there. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Isn't he the cutest little thing? You very, very rarely see donkey anything. And I was thrilled when I saw somebody um, haul it and I've been on the hunt for it. And there was one, there was one in her store and I grabbed it. I did get one after this one, but I was just thrilled with that. So amazing. Um, very excited uh, that I did find another one because I got, I got one and I was like, I'm gonna put that in my office. And then I was like, Dang, I put it in my office, then I don't have one for here. But I got one, yay! So then I picked up these um, sticky note and ballpoint pen sets. You get one pad that's 30 sheets and the pen. I just thought they were so stinking cute. I got this one. See how pretty that pad is. And look at the pen. Just a nice little gift set. And then I found this one, which I thought was so, so pretty. I don't know if there was other ones. There might have been a third one. I don't recall, but I only picked up these two. And these were hanging on a clip strip in not even the stationary aisle. I think they were in like, um, like where the shampoo and stuff are. So you have to look in every aisle on every clip strip, on every shelf, because you never know where you're gonna find stuff. You really don't. This uh, notebook I had to get because I just thought it was so funny. So, so funny. It's a soft back, it's lined paper, but look at this. Things I, things I can't say during a video call. If you can see that, because it's the reflection on it, it's gold. Things I can't say during a video call. I just thought that was awesome. With all these Zoom meetings and stuff we're doing, yeah, I could fill this with things I can't say on a video call. Um, the back side is just plain, but the front has that gold. And I just thought that was too funny. Things I can't say during a video call. He, 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 love it. So I'm gonna take that to work. 
Then I picked up um, these folders, this two pack of folders for Caroline. Uh, school's almost over, but she can use them for next year. I just thought they were so stinking cute. Look at the princesses. Aren't they adorable? I love Disney. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to go to Florida. I just love Disney. Love it, love it, love it. I've been there a lot of times and look, there's heroes. Be your own, be the hero of your story. And there's all the heroes. I love Disney princesses. I love Disney characters. And um, I'm gonna make Caroline love them too because I'm a nut about it. And that's how I am. I found two of the Peppa Pig characters and I told you I couldn't figure out who was who, but I noticed on the bottom that they're bigger. This is Daddy Pig. I didn't get Daddy Pig last time. And this is Mommy Pig. So now I got Daddy Pig, Mommy Pig, Peppa Pig, and Georgie Pig. So yay, full set, got them all. It was very. These were the very first Peppa Pigs that I found. The ones I showed the other day, hmm, that must have been after this because I know um, the South Glen's Fall Star was the first Peppa Pigs that I found. And then I also picked up these cute little, I think I, I think these might have been out already, but I swear these are different animals. I know there was bunnies before, but I found these cute little Barbie um, animals. There, there's a kitty cat with a ball of yarn in a basket. So cute. Barbie stuff for a dollar. And then I got the puppy with the little bone. I know there was a bunny before, but I don't remember what the other ones were. So I got them, even if she's got doubles, you know, when you're playing with Barbies, you gotta have two because if she's got one, grandma's gotta have one. Both gotta have one. And the last thing, oh, no, there's two things. I found this sticker collection, this LOL sticker collection, 150 stickers. And you get the, um, whatever kind this is that I don't really like. The laser stickers. They are my least favorite stickers, the laser ones. They're just too hard to look at. And then there's these. Look at this fabulous looking LOL. How cute are they? She's gonna love these. And then there's these. So cute. And these. So I'm happy that three of the four pages are not um, that laser. It's something about laser stickers just I don't know. I they I don't like them. But that's just me. Maybe you like them, I don't like them. And then I found this LOL painting set, paint your own posters. You get the paint, you get the paintbrush. Sometimes these paints are not so great. So if you have your own paint, they're best to use your own. Sometimes they're okay. It's a hit and miss type of thing. And those are the two posters that you get. Caroline loves art. She loves drawing, painting, you know, everything that has to do with um, art. I think she's going to be an artsy type of girl. So I am encouraging that because, you know, why not? And these were so stinking cute. I couldn't even stand it. Apparently there's other ones, but these are the only ones I saw and they only had one pack, but look at these stickers. Look at these hippos. Aren't they adorable? Oh my God, they're so stinking cute. This one says happy. Now I'm trying to read these backwards. This one says sorry, but how stinking cute are they? I couldn't resist them. I was really disappointed there was only one pack because I definitely would have got more than one. And you get nine of them. They're puffy and they're by Jot. Love them. Thank you, South Guns Falls. I picked up a bottle of dish soap 
Dawn dish detergent because I needed it. This is a seven ounce bottle. You know, if you're buying dish detergent, I don't know whether it's just Dollar Tree because I haven't looked at dish detergent in the um, regular stores, but it just really annoys me, this empty area. Like why? Why can't you just fill it all the way up? I know the bottle says seven ounces. Well, fill it up, make it eight ounces, dang it. Just, so I always look at the bottles and try to find the one that I think looks the most filled up. Do you guys do that too? Anyway, I'm a weirdo, so what can I say? And then I picked up a thing of Lysol Cling uh, toilet bowl cleaner. I like the one, the ones that are colored. The clear one, I don't know, it doesn't, I feel like I, I need to see the color clinging to the toilet and cleaning it. But anyway, I think this is a good deal for Lysol toilet bowl cleaner for a dollar. And this one is a uh, long lasting fragrance, but does it say what fragrance it is? It's purple. I don't know. And it smells good and I like it because I've bought it before. So this is doo -doo -doo, eight ounces. Eight ounces. My toilet will be clean. Then I picked up, you know, with now that uh, the pandemic is starting to slow down and people are being able to go without masks and everybody's getting vaccinated. You can find alcohol wipes, you can find masks, they're, you know, they're everywhere. So I found these 70% al alcohol, um, sing I was going to say single serve, um, you know, what's the word I want to say? Like packets of hand sanitizer. So, you know, they're just individual. You know what, I'm gonna open this up just to see exactly what's in here. I thought they were like a wipe, but it says hand sanitizer. So is it sanitizer or is it a wipe? Because I was thinking it was like a, a wipe, but let's open one up and find out. So you get these little packets. That's the packet there. And it says 0 0.07 ounce, so it's gotta be actual hand sanitizer that you can't open, that you drop on the floor. All right, so how easy are these to open? That's my question. Oh, down here. Down here on the little notch. So let's see what you get. Oh, you get, oh, okay, you get quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's falling all over, but let me, oh, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like that it's not a wipe. I'm gonna have to get some more of those. Cause you know, I have little bottles in my car, but you could, you know, if you put them in your pocketbook and the top comes open and you get hand sanitizer all over, not that that's a bad thing. You're sanitizing everything that's in your pocketbook, but everything could get wet and whatever. These are little packets of hand sanitizer. I love them. I saw these in another store too, just recently. And I was like, oh, I already got some of those. But now I'm gonna get more because I really like these. Moisturizes with vitamin E and they're by Extra Care. So awesome. And you get 24 packs. Very cool. Glad I opened that. Thanks guys. Because I probably wouldn't have opened it for a long time. Very cool. The only problem is then you have this garbage to get rid of. But that's okay. That's okay. Just keep a little garbage can in your car. Then I saw a bunch of people hauling this. I don't know that I really need it. It's by Dr. Reuter Plumbing. And it's a hair cyclone. And you put it in your drain. And it keeps hair from going down your drain. It looks like it was uh, one of those as seen on TV things. I don't know if it was, but I thought I would get one and see how it works. <clears throat> it says, insert cyclone into the drain. The hair wraps up neatly around the cylinder. Simply clean and reuse or dispose. Easy to use, easy to clean. Don't shower without one. So I grabbed one. 
I grabbed one. But if you have long hair I, and have clogged drains, I imagine, you know, you might want to get a couple. Thought I'd show you that it was out there. First time I saw that one. Then I found the Barbasol Ear and Nose Trimmer. What? For a dollar? Are you kidding me? An ear and nose trimmer? It's battery powered. Obviously, probably the batteries are not in here because it's going to say that, right? Batter one AA battery not included. Washable heads, run underwater for easy cleaning, and it's portable. So that's going in my son's Father's Day present. And it's got a little cap here to put on top to keep it clean so he can trim his ear and nose hairs. Hopefully he doesn't have ear hair yet. Ooh, but I thought, what a great deal. I mean, if you need a Father's Day gift or um, you could keep this for your husband or boyfriend's or child's uh, stocking and make that a stocking stuffer if you're an early Christmas shopper like me. So I got, I grabbed one of these. I grabbed one of these Assured for Men razors. It's a three blade razor and it's got uh, the razor with the head and then two replacement parts. Let me hold that back just enough. Gosh, the green wire is so bad. It says, uh, easy to grip handle, lubricated strip for soft shave, and it's triple blade. And I love the green. So uh, that's also going in his Father's Day gift. And I found it for women as well. And I love this color. I love this color. And this is Assured brand, if I didn't say that. This is the Women's System Razor. And the same thing, only in this beautiful peach color. Sorry about the glare. Triple blade, a lubricating strip, razor with the blade, and then two replacements. I mean, a triple blade razor with two replacements for like a Gillette thing is like eight, nine dollars. And I can't imagine this can't be good. So, you know. What a deal. If I see these again, I'm going to get some more. Especially the women's one. Especially the women's one. Uh, got a couple food things. I was telling you guys about these Maddie K's almonds. I told you they came in the purple package. And now they're in this white package. And they are the same. Because I was in the Half Moon store the other day. And they had the purple package. So they are the same. They are, um, I got the roasted salted and I got the hickory smoke, which I haven't tried yet. Um, but these are really, really good. I actually bought a pack the other day at the Dollar Tree I was at and I came out with my Diet Pepsi, which I get every time I go Dollar Tree shopping. And this was my snack for the way home. Maddie K's almonds. And you get quite a bit in here. It's two ounces, gluten-free, California's finest almonds. So they are from the United States. I'm interested in trying these hickory smoke ones, but I don't want to open this because if I don't eat it, then I'll have an open pack of almonds. You know what? Let's throw caution to the wind. Let's throw caution to the wind and try these. If I can get it open. They do have a nice little thing where you just rip the corner off. Let's try a couple hickory smoke ones. Mmm. These are good too. Let me show you what they... Whoa! They're whole almonds too. Very good. See that? Mmm. I like that one too. Oh yeah. I like these. Hickory smoke ones are good. Roasted. Excuse me, talking with my mouth full. The roasted salted ones. Recommend them both. Mm-mm. Glad I tried them. Thanks, guys. Let me take a drink here. 
Mmm, they were good. Found these again. Love, love, love these. The Mountain Trail Mix. You get four packs in here. Um, I've shown them to you before. You get, um, let's see what's in them. Peanuts, raisins, M&M's, brand name M&M's. See the M&M's logo on there? M&M's, milk chocolate candies, salted almonds, and salted cashews. Very good. Love these. Highly recommend them. Great for little snacks. Keep in the car. Keep in your purse. I keep three or four of them at work. When I feel a little hunger pain, that's it. I grab, a, grab my trail mix and uh, fight off the hunger. I picked up a bag of these on the border chips. They had these a while ago. I feel like the bag was bigger the last time they were out. Because it seems a little smaller. This is a doo -doo -doo, four ounce bag. And these are good until July 28th. But I really liked these the last time they were out. But like I said, I feel like the bag was bigger last time. And I can't say for sure. But I stocked up on these. I bought a whole bunch of them because I really liked them. Only picked up one bag this time. Because like I said, I feel like the bag was bigger last time. But I highly recommend them. I mean, for a buck, really, this is a decent sized bag. I think I was just being a little cheap. And then I picked up this Golden King Quinoa. I like that commercial where you're trying to be your parents and they can't pronounce this quinoa. They're like, Kion, whoa. You guys see that commercial? Anyway, this is Tiny Hero Golden Quinoa. A mighty whole grain and it's a six ounce package. I have never cooked quinoa before. I've eaten it once or twice. Um, I don't know that I love it, but it's supposed to be good for you. And I said, you know, why the heck not? And this is good until April 9th of 2023. So I will cook this at some point. It says boil two cups of water. Add a quarter cup of Tiny Hero Golden Quinoa. Reduce 12 to 14 minutes. Drain and rinse. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good deal or not. Like I said, I've never cooked quinoa before. So, I don't, I've never bought it before. So, I don't know if this is a good deal. But for a dollar, I figured I could try it. And if I like it, maybe I can get some more. So if you eat quinoa, let me know. Um, I got a couple craft things. I picked up two packs of this ribbon just because I absolutely love this ribbon. I love the burlap. I love the lace in the middle. And there's just so many things you can do with it. Um, it is nine feet of ribbon and it's two inches wide. And... I just love this ribbon. Every time I see it in the store, I'm like, ooh, I love that ribbon. So I grabbed two more of them just to keep in my craft stash. I bought a new, I told you guys, I bought this new corner shelf and I, I swear I'm gonna show it to you. Hmm, maybe not this video, but I'll, I will in my next video, I promise. Well, maybe not my next video, but one of them. I also picked up this cotton twine 100% cotton crafting string, 180 feet, and I picked it up in the purple. I picked it up in the purple. They had several different colors, but I feel like I already have like yellow and green and red. And I said, do I have purple? I don't know. Let me just get it because Caroline's on this purple kick and I'll find some something to do with it. So I got that. Um, then I found these cups. Now, it's a two-pack of cups, and they say Tropical Vibes on them. And I was like, oh, those are really cute. And I was like, oh, they're coffee cups. Mm, I don't know. Do I really need them? But they're so stinking cute. You get two cups, and they have, you know, like at the top on it. And I said, oh, this is really cute. Do I, do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. But then the more I looked at it, I thought that you would be able to stick a straw in this little hole right here. But then when I looked at it, 
Now there's a piece of plastic right down the middle. I thought I could stick a straw in there and sip from it, you know, like that. I mean, you could sip from it like that, but I thought if I could stick a straw in there, then that would be really cool. I also got this one. I opened this one because I wanted to see what the story was with this top. Because on this one, you know, it has this paint, this plastic across here and then it's also plastic around here and covered and I'm like what what is the deal with this and they're one on top of the other so it was hard, hard to figure it out so this is what the top looks like and then I was like "Ooh, can this punch out maybe stick a straw in there I don't know I just really wanted to oh can you wait can you oh you can oh my god I love it. Look, the little hole punches out. You can put a straw in there. I'm super excited now. I was like so disappointed that you couldn't fit a straw in that other hole. But yeah, look at that. Ha, ha, ha. Victory is mine. There you go. You can put a straw in there. Awesome. And the kids can drink out of these too. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I got to go get some more. And you do see what I see on there, right? You do see what I see on there. Oh, I'm so excited because I was pushing on it earlier and I was like, oh, it, it's not. And then I thought, I don't want to break it. But then I was just pushing on it and it popped open. How exciting is that? Look, I don't know if this one pops out too, but who cares? I, I As long as I got a straw hole... Love it. I don't know how many ounces this is. It looks to be like 12 ounces maybe. It looks like coffee cup size. But very excited. So excited that you could put a straw in it now. And this is that one. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Because I was so disappointed when I saw that little piece of plastic in the middle. I was like, oh, dang. And then this one is tropical vibes I am so excited about the possibility of putting a straw in there you know it's the little things in life that get me excited um then I picked up two of these little pails I couldn't stand they were so cute there was like six of them I posted them on my Facebook page um the picture of all of them but I only picked up the little puppy Look at how cute that is, a Dalmatian. And it's just a little bucket, just a cute little bucket. You know, you can make a little kid's gift out of here, you know, put stuff in it and wrap it up and give them the little bucket. So cute, and I had to get the panda. So cute, look at the little footprint. And this one's, they're both white on the inside. But there was a, a monkey. There was, I don't know. But these were the two that I picked up. I mean, can you stand it? Can you stand the cuteness? I can't. I can't even. Uh, then I got some party stuff. I found these. Um, these are actually 4th of July. I found these three foldable fans. And they are um, 4th of July. I thought I could share these with my mom, at least one of them, but they're 4th of July fans, and there's three different ones. There's one that's blue with, it looks like stars, there's a truck one, and then there's one with ice cream cones. Let's check them out. So they have the little hook there to keep it closed. You open that up. And you have the popsicles. How cute is that? Ooh, and they really work too. Ooh. So there's that one. And you get three of them for a dollar. And then you put the little latch back on it. There you go. This one is the, oh, I like that one too. With the stars. Very cute. They smell like paper, so you need to open them up and, and air them out before you use them unless you want to sniff paper for the first few times you use them. And this one I think is going to be my favorite, of course. 
It matches the plates and all the other paraphernalia I got for 4th of July. Love it. Three fans for a dollar. They only had, I think they only had one, if I'm not mistaken. No, they might have had more. I only grabbed one. I should have grabbed a couple, to be honest. But, like I said, I was being cheap. I was trying to find the good stuff, which I did. I got one of. But I was on my way to go meet Sally. And I was like, shopping, shopping. So, anyway. I only got one. Then I saw these plates. They've had them around forever. But I just felt like Caroline and Evelyn needed some unicorn plates for when they eat at grandma's when we eat on paper plates you know just on a regular day why not have cute little paper plates they can use you get 20 of this size which is 6.87 inches and you get 18 of the larger 8.75 but I just was like, oh, the kids. I guess I was feeling guilty because I was away. I was like, let me get something for them. And then I had to get these just because, hello, summer. And they are pink and they'll, you know, I can use them during my flamingo party. Not that I need them because I probably have nine tons of flamingo paper plates. But you get 12 of these. And I just grabbed them because they're, but just because they're cute. Because they are cute. Can I just say that? That's all. That's all. And then I got more party stuff. I picked up the 24 count of the pastel tissue paper. And I got the 24 count of the primary color tissue paper. And I got these because I needed colored tissue paper. I got white tissue paper, but I didn't have any colored tissue paper. Then I picked up this wrapping paper. This is 17 and a half inches. And it is how long? 2.33 yards. Just thought this was such a pretty pattern with the butterflies. I thought, oh, this would make such a nice gift wrapping just to put this in my stash. You know, I just love it. I'm trying to get the glare off. I just love it. So I grabbed that and then I spotted this one and I was like, you yippee. This is a Disney princess gift wrap. It's uh, five feet, but look at this gift wrap. Look at it. I can't hold it too much closer, but look at how gorgeous this is. You could craft with this. Look at this. Look at it. I love it. And it's got some nice hints of blue in there and pink. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I could not leave that behind. And the reflection, the... I gotta find a way to stop the glare, dang it. But absolutely love this paper. You could craft with this. You could just do so much. I love it. I love it. That's all I can say. I love it. And okay, uh, the last couple things I got in South Glens Falls was some makeup. I was able to find, and I was very excited, the um, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick by Wet n Wild. And I found this one, 949A Bali and Love. I found three of them. There's this one. Love that color. Very summery. And that's what it looks like. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Well, then I found uh, 939A Ride on My Copper. Love that color too. Very pretty. Uh, there we 
go, baby. And these are metallic lipstick. And this one is, do, do, do. I was so excited. I was like, ooh, and they have different colors too. Um, this one is, where is the name on this one? Oh, this is Coral Crown. And that's a little darker. But these are the colors that I found. And I was super excited to find them. Because I have not seen anything like this in my stores. And I was like, yay! Yay, yay, yay. And they're all right around the kind of colors I would wear. This one is a little light for me, but I would try it during the summer. I was so excited to find those. Because I don't know... I just don't get a lot of the really good makeup. I n almost never see hard candy, um, but so I was kind of excited. I found the Wet n Wild Coloricon Bronzer in Bikini Contest. Look at the size of that. And I picked up two of those. Two of those. Can I not show myself in the reflection that'd be really good two of those and I found the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette with a step-by-step -step tutorial included really cool love it very huge and it shows you on the back how to use it isn't that awesome? So if you're not familiar with using this kind of stuff, you read the back and you figure out how to use it. Because I basically wear under eye cover, eyeliner, blush, and then powder. I don't go do the whole foundation thing. I don't know. I just don't. But I'm going to, I you know, you never know. And this is called uh, Caramel Toffee is this color here. Might be kind of dark for me, but it's the only color they had. So I grabbed it. And then I was really excited. This last thing I got, I found the Wet n Wild Cushions, the Mega Cushions Color Correcting, and I've got the purple one that neutralizes yellow. And I got the yellow one that neutralizes dark circles. And I got the green one for redness. Very super excited that they had all three of these. Let's see if I can show these all together. Very, very excited to find these. So thank you, Sally, for letting me know about the South Glens Fall Store. And I was very excited for the things I got. Um, I do want to add on just a little bit more. I want to get this stuff. It's a small amount of things that I got from the Dollar Tree, which also come with a story, believe it or not. Okay, let me get this up here. Ugh. Okay, here's the story. Uh, my friend Connie and I drink out of these cups. These cups right here. Last year, they had flamingos on them. And I forget what the other one was. They had like four different designs last year. And I bought a set of each of the four. And my friend Connie and I drink out of these all the time. So in my travels over the last year, I have taken them places and left them behind thinking they were only two for a dollar. You know, whatever. I have some more at home. Well, I am down to one cup left. So... I could not find these anywhere before our trip to Lake George. I searched and searched, could not find them anywhere. Of course, I did find them like, all right, so that, that I'm jumping ahead of myself. So I couldn't find them anywhere. So I saw somebody haul them and I was like, oh my God, they're back out. All my stores couldn't find them. So I went online and I ordered them. Well, they only come in a case of 24. So me and my thinking, I said, you know what? I'm going to order the whole case 
and then I'm going to return the ones I don't want. So that's exactly what I did. I ordered a case of 24 and I kept, what did I keep? I kept four of them. I re, no, I actually kept, because I think I have five that I'm still returning. I kept nine of them and I returned the rest of them at my store. So, you know, they knew what I was doing. So I'm returning five more of them and keeping just these four, but they come in this blue life is a beach. Enjoy the waves and you get the straws, the cups, the tops, and the straws have the stopper on them so they don't come out. These cups are fantastic. Love, love, love them. So I want to make sure I have enough to get me through this summer and maybe still have some left over. And they're also a nice gift in case I decide to be generous and throw them into a, uh, you know, a gift of some sort. So I picked up um, one of the blue. I picked up two of the teal, let's say summer vibes. Actually picked up, I have another set of the teal that I had bought after I ordered these. And one pink that says Tropical Life. And I also have another set of these that I got that I found after I ordered these. So that's my story on these cups. I just, you know, when I ordered them, I'm like, oh my God, they're going to come before we leave. I'm so excited. And then I went to a store and there they were. And I was like, oh, shoot. So I tried to call Dollar Tree and cancel the order. Um, because, the, you know, they hadn't charged my card. I didn't get any notice that they were being shipped. So I called Dollar Tree and I said, you know, I placed an order. I want to cancel it. And she said, well, it's being processed. I'll send a thing. Maybe they can still cancel it. And the next thing I know, I get an a, a a email that says your order is ready for pickup. And I was like, well, I guess it didn't get canceled. So I had to do what I had to do. And also in that order... I had ordered these glasses, the lemon glasses. Now I ordered four of these, okay? Four of these. Where's the last one? I ordered four of these and I ordered four of the like tumblers, the stemless tumblers, you know, the the stemless ones, like a wine glass. Well, what they sent me was eight of these. So I returned four of these. So I didn't feel bad about returning the other cups because I was like, well, you screwed me on the lemon cups because these were going to be gifts. I was planning on giving two of these with the two other glasses. So now I have four of these and whatever. So I didn't get the four glasses that I wanted. So I didn't feel bad about returning the other cups. Anyway, also, so in order to return, here's the story on Dollar Tree Returns. You can't get your money back, okay? So I had 24 cups that I, that I ordered and I didn't want them all. So I kept, I think I kept nine of them. So... 9 minus 24, I had 13 of these cups that I had to return, plus the four glasses like this that I didn't want. So I had to go around the store and find 17 things to replace that. And when you're in a hurry, finding 17 things at the Dollar Tree, it, it didn't take me that long. But, you know, when the pressure is on and you got to find 17 things... You know, it's funny. Um, I was like, I felt like I was on supermarket sweepstakes because I'm like, oh, I'll take that. I'll take this. I'll take that. But anyway, I did an exchange, even exchange because that's all they do. And I, so here are the other things that I had to get, not had to get, but wanted to get in exchange for my return. Long story, just to show you these couple items. I picked up a box of tissues because you can never have enough tissues. Love this design. 
It's so pretty. They have it all the time. Scotty's tissues, highly recommend them. Very soft. Don't buy Dollar Tree brand tissues because they're they're not they're not soft. Just telling you. Because I have bought them accidentally. Um, I picked up two of these cups that say Summer Vibes. Oh gosh, you can't see that. Then eh, maybe there. They are coffee cups. They have the twist top with the insulated cup. Now I just thought like, you know, this and this would make a nice gift with, you know, some other things. It's like a set. So I thought, yeah, those will match with those. So I picked up two of those. Um, and I did pick up the pink one that matches this. I think I showed it to you guys already. Could be in another haul coming. Not sure. <laughs> picked up another one of these Flamingo stylus pens just because I was trying to find things to buy. And I was like, oh, I can always use another Flamingo stylus pen. So I got another one of those. I got my son the beard trimming cape for his father, part of his Father's Day gift. It has the suction cups. And as you can see in the picture, you connect the suction cups to the mirror and the thing around your neck so the sink doesn't get full of their hair. It doesn't have to be beard trimming. It could be just plain shaving. It could be, I don't know, whatever. So they don't get hair all over your dang sink. And this is by Assured Brand, Assured for Men, 20 inches by 44, catches hair for no mess trimming. So I got that for him for Father's Day. Um, I picked up this laundry room sign. I don't care about this part down here. It says uh, sort tomorrow, wash later, dry soon, fold maybe, iron, get real. Uh, don't care about that part at all, but I just really like this laundry room, laundry room sign, and I'm only going to use that part of it and hang that down by my washer and dryer. Uh, that was really pretty. Uh, picked up another landmark milk chocolate bar with the caramel because they had them. Um, I picked up this a canvas that goes with matches my donkey so that is going to be a really cute set this one also has the gold foil in it too i don't want to unwrap this one so i got those to go together yay because i knew i had the donkey i was like oh this matches my donkey yay so I probably should have done that as my thumbnail. Didn't think about it. Oh, well. Um, and then I found these cutie patootie little freaking cute sticker books. They're like a pocketbook. Oh, my God. And they have stickers and coloring and all kinds of little activities. How much will the girls love these? right how much will they love these so cute i love them so i got two mermaid ones one for madeline and one for caroline because evie's a little little a little little for these and then the unicorn magical purse so cute this one's got stickers on the inside as well and then unicorn coloring and games and whatnot. So there are only two. These are the two that they have. I absolutely love trying to get the glare off there. Here we go. So cute. I found these by the register. Um, I don't know whether it was because they didn't put them out yet, but that's where I found them. And these are Crown Jewels Kids. So awesome little gift. If you have a little girl's birthday coming up or you just want to buy something cute for your granddaughter or niece or nephew or neighbor or whatever. And then the last thing I bought is some of these tubs. Everybody's been hauling them. When I first saw them, I was like, I don't need another 
spin. But then when I actually looked at it, look at the size of this sucker. I picked up two in this navy blue because I'm going to use one of these for my son's Father's Day present. And then I picked up two in this beautiful turquoise color. I really wanted the white. I do want the white, but I'm, I, I just couldn't resist these colors. I love this turquoise. So I got them to organize my things. I just want to go together. And so I picked up two blue. I only have one here. I already started putting stuff in his basket. And that's why I got those. And I might even be able to use those. My mom might even be able to use those. My mom is moving. She's going to another assisted living place, um, which I think is going to be more homier for her. It's kind of more like a, um apartment than the place she's in. And it also offers enhanced care. So we don't have to worry so much about, um, you know, her health and her advancing um, you know, age. So she'll be moving on Thursday and, uh, maybe she could use those in her apartment somewhere, but I got them. And I hope you guys like my video. I got to get caught up because I got some really, really amazing stuff and I want to get out, get on here and show you guys so that you guys have a chance to get it too. Not that you guys always get the stuff when I get it, because sometimes I see stuff people haul. You know, I watch a couple haulers, not too many, because I don't have the time. Um, but sometimes I be, see people haul stuff, and I'm like, oh, I hope I can find that. But then I see them in the same haul haul stuff that I've gotten a couple of weeks ago. So I don't know. I don't know how Dollar Tree figures out what they send, when they send it, where they send it, I don't know. I don't understand you, Dollar Tree. But so anyway, I'm trying to get this stuff out to you guys so you can see it. So you can go, oh my God, let me add that to my wish list. And go out and find it. Because I got some really, really amazing things lately. Uh, that makeup, so excited to find that. My little friend here, I was so excited to find him. Her. Her. Because she's got flowers in her hair. Although, a Boy Donkey can have flowers in his hair too, you know. Anything goes these days. But I just love this. So anyway, I'm going to end this haul here. I hope to be back. Um, hmm, maybe tomorrow. If I have the time, I'm going to try to get on tomorrow because I have lots of stuff to show you guys. Lots of stuff. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm feeling a whole lot better. Thank you for all your prayers and all your thoughts. And um, I appreciate the kindness. I appreciate you. And if you're new to my channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Become one of my subscribers, part of my family. I hate to use the word subscriber because I feel like you guys are my friends more than my subscribers. It just sounds so, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like it. You guys are my friends. I enjoy having you um, leave your comments and, you know, say nice things to me and tell me different things about yourself. Um, thanks for being my friends. And uh, you all take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.